Hey viewers, I uh, hope everyone is well and welcome to my channel or welcome to Waffle Wednesday. Part 2 or episode 2, series 2. Series 2, will it? It'll be episode 2. I hope everyone is well and um, and I hope you've been enjoying the video still. I hope you enjoyed last Friday's video, the Batman edition. Hello again, uber nerd fans. I know that there was a few people that didn't like that, but you know, it was mainly uh, for um, the the kids. Well, not really the kids. The kids and the yeah, they are, and the adults that liked uh, that liked Batman and liked Lego. Really, a few people have asked me to make another Lego Lego project, so there it is. Um, and uh, I hope that those of you, um, I hope you, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. So I want to talk to you about a little bit of my obsession with eBay. As you know, I spend a lot of time on eBay. Most of the things I get are from there. Um, but I do have a little bit of a problem, not just with purchasing stuff off of eBay, but um, I'm a typical bloke and I don't ever read anything. So what happens is, is I end up buying some stuff that actually is completely the wrong size that I actually wanted. So for an example, I needed to get a few more of these. Couldn't find the original source. It's a really good little pot. Makes a perfect little pot for my little pencil pots that I make. Um, so I needed another one of these. Um, I so I found another source. I thought that's the one. Need it. It turned up in the post. Yeah, that's way too big. Um, again, just typical, really. I just don't read anything. I, I'm an absolute nightmare for stuff like that. Another example. I needed a measuring jug to pick uh, to mix up my resin in. That's how small it is. There's lots of things I could go on forever, but I'm going to show you one more. I want to make, and I will make, a chopping board at some point. I've seen loads of people make them, and I wanted to mix it up with loads of different colours and, and um, you know, make a really nice chopping board. Um, so um, I decided to find some wood for it, and I saw some wood, and the picture of those bits of wood are here. And um, I thought, perfect, they look quite nice, you know, and I was kind of imagining them to be in about sort of this big, about sort of this thick. That would make a really nice chopping board. You know what, that's pretty cheap as well. So um, I grabbed them. Buy it now, I did. I didn't look any further. I thought it was a great deal and purchased them. I'm an absolute nightmare. I've got so many things in the shed in the garage that I've no need for because it's either too small or too big. Absolute crazy. There you go, there's one of my uh, floors for you. <laughs> um, so um, I've got another project coming up this Friday. Um, it's not the most exciting project in the world, but I hope you like it anyway. Um, and because it was it was another project that I actually started in my old shed. So um, and you'll get to sort of like realise, you know, because I've been doing lots of different projects and I start them and stop them and stuff. So this one I needed to finish. So uh, I've got that one coming up for you this Friday. For all you subscribers that come on and watch. Uh, and are interested in my pencil stuff that I make. I do make the pencil stuff all the time and um, I'm always making them off camera and, and putting them up uh, on the... Uh... Wow, a bit windy outside. Just nearly took my door off. Um, and I will put them up on my website. I generally tend to go for Sundays for some reason. I'm not sure why, I just tend to put stuff up on a Sunday. And you might see some pencil bits up there, little pots and maybe some bowls and vases and stuff like that. Depends on whatever I get around to, to doing. Um, I've got a little something behind here that I'm making. Um, and this is a quite a large pencil blank that I've prepared, as you can see. Um, so I'm going to turn this and make this into probably some kind of a pot stroke. I don't know. Maybe a pot, maybe a vase. I'm not too sure. But that's on the list um, to do. Um, and these up here, these are little um, pencil blanks that I'd make. I don't know whether to... What I might do is I might start making some pencil blanks. Um, and... Um, you know, if anyone was interested, because I've had a few people ask me for them, and I've sent them off to them. Um, I might put a couple of these on my website if you wanted to, you know, um, have them to maybe sort of turn, make pen blanks out of them, or finials and things like that. So um, I'll knock a few of these up and get them up on the site for you as well, if you're interested anyway. So there's that. 
what else have I got to talk to you about? Um, obviously, thanks very much. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Thanks very much to all my new subscribers, obviously. And it's gone absolutely crazy. And I really appreciate all your help and support. And I really do hope that I am supporting you as well in some kind of way. Whatever way that may be, whether it's uh, you're enjoying watching the videos, whether it's um, you know getting you back into woodworking and wood turning, or you know uh, giving you some ideas for working in your shop, or you know helping you develop a new um, hobby, you know, and getting you, getting you actually into wood turning, you know. So um, and um, but as much as I'd like to and want to help people and, and, and others um, you really do help me as well because all of your lovely comments and things and, and stuff like that that you leave um, and all your support and all the new subscribers that come on board you know it's really quite overwhelming so um, I really am very pleased uh, and honoured to have all of you on the channel um, and thanks very much for watching my stuff you know and watching my videos hope you like the Wednesday waffles so again if you're not really into waffling because there are a few comments that pop up now and again saying Great video, but God, you talk too much. Stop talking too much. It would be good if, it, if you didn't talk. <laughs> but there's not many of those. There isn't many. There isn't many. There's only a few. Um, but like I said, you know, you know people, some people like people talking, some people don't. Some people think, oh my God, you know, just stop talking. Turn it off. Fast forward. <laughs> um, but anyway, I've got lost now. What, am I, what was I talking about? Ah, yes. That was it. So anyway, I've got two laves to give away, and I haven't forgotten you, so they are coming. I've ordered them, um, and what I want to do is I want to review the lathe first before I send it out or, you know, kind of put it up for, you know, giveaway. So there's two of them, record power laves, which is really great equipment, as you know. That's what I use in majority of my shop, um, and a couple of other things that I haven't got as record power, but I will be upgrading to record power soon. Table saw. I don't use a huge amount, but um, I'll be upgrading to that as well at some point. Um, and probably one of these as well. <laughs> I'm going to give two record power laves away, and um, and uh, to look, two lucky winners, I'll post them anywhere in the world. So, and when I get that, I'll get, I'll get a little review going on it, uh, just so you can see it before you win it. See it before you win it. Mm. Kind of almost rhymes, but um, doesn't rhyme at all. Um, what else? Ah, yeah. Don't forget, I'm going to Atlanta in two weeks. So if you are around or if you can get to the show, it'd be great to see you. I will be around somewhere. I'm sure you won't miss the white beard. Um, and um, if you're there, great. Love to see you. I'll bring some stickers along because I've got some stickers coming and I've got some t-shirts coming as well. So um, I'll get those on the website, but I'll bring some stickers with me um, and, uh, you know, if I see you, I can, you know, hand out some stickers to you. So I've had some posts as well. So I'm going to do a little bit of a mail time for you. These blanks sent to me in the post by a lady in Denver called Colleen. Um, me and Colleen keep in touch. She bought a couple of bits from me and uh, we've kept in touch kind of ever since really. And she watches my videos. So uh, she sent in a couple of blanks that she's made for me to turn so I'll add these into a project an up and coming project soon uh, so we've got like a glitter one with some buttons in the back here um, and not sure what else is in there Colleen <laughs> and lots of different bits of woods and glitter and all sorts of stuff going on with mix of resin and then there's like a little sort of um, blank there as well so um, these will be quite good so I'm quite sort of intrigued as to you know get these on the lathe and turn these. So uh, thanks very much for sending these down, Colleen. I really appreciate that. All the way from Denver, Colorado, I believe. Got some other bits and pieces in the post. Another, uh, got another sticker and a card. Really lovely card, actually. Look at that. That's really quite nice. It says Frog Creek Trail. Got another sticker. And this is says the Coldy Sack Wood Shop. This is from uh, Jim and uh, is it Rain Renau Renau Renau? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Sorry. So last year um, they started a business um, so that Jim can sell his woodwork, and 
and I believe his wife has uh, designed his logo for him, which is pretty cool actually. Jim, the cul-de-sac woodturner. Quite good, I like that, I like that. Obviously live in a cul-de-sac, it does say that. It does say that here as well. Um, so um, yeah, a little note from, from them as well, which is quite nice. And I know these guys watch my channel because they've messaged me before and I recognize the name. So um, they're also co-founder of a birthday club for people born on February the 29th, Leap Day. Are you born on February the 29th? Who's born on February the 29th? That's pretty nice of them to send me that down and uh, some stickers and a card. So I really appreciate that. And again, I love getting stuff. I love getting posts, it's fantastic, you know. All these little things that everyone sends me, it's brilliant, do you know what I mean? And I'll always try and, you know, I'll talk to, talk to you about them, um, the things that I get sent, so I really appreciate you sending me stuff. Now this next one is really, really cool. So I've had this come in the post today. So I've added this into the Wednesday Waffle video. And it says, Good day, Nick. So I'm taking they might be from New Zealand. Here's a couple of bits I chucked on the laser for you. Check that out. Now that is awesome. So this guy has lasered this on his lasering machine out of a piece of wood. That is fantastic. Keith, Keith, thank you so much. Um, and he finishes off his note, I won't read it all, but he finishes off his note, Keith in the real NZ. You're a lucky man because I get asked this all the time and loads of people say, can I come and see your shop in New Zealand? I'm in New Zealand, can I come over and see you? Can I pop in, blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, guys, I'm not from New Zealand. I am from the wet and cold United Kingdom. Um, and um, NZ is my initials. <laughs> um, but that is fantastic. Thanks so much. And not only that, not only that, Keith has sent me these down as well. Which he's obviously knocked up on his machine as well. Uh, little kind of like NZ wood turning discs. There, look, look at that. But I mean, that's just amazing. I mean, for somebody to do that for somebody else and send it across the world, just like all these things like from Denver and Nate sending me all that stuff and um, Jamie and Alan, you know, all these things. For, for people to do this type of thing, you know, it's, well, I'm just totally gobsmacked by it really, to be fair. I mean, you know, there's some really, fantastic people in the world and um, I really appreciate you even just putting this together for me and sending it to me in the post it's just absolutely amazing thanks so much um, I'm glad that you watched the channel and um, I'm so chuffed to receive these gifts I really am so thanks I don't know what else to say really there isn't any other words I wish there was uh, sometimes but I'll get this and this will take pride in my shop somewhere um, I don't know where, but somewhere where I can get it on camera, you know, now and again. I appreciate it. I bet it's lovely in New Zealand. Um, so, um, again, just thought I'd mention that um, and show you that those bits and pieces uh, have been sent in the post. God, my hair's a bit messy today, isn't it? Whoa. Yeah, so there we go. So um, that's all I have to say this Wednesday. Um, thanks very much for joining me for another Waffle Wednesday. Hope I didn't waffle too much and too long probably did because um, my throat's dry and I've been talking forever got loads of projects coming up loads of things to do um, I really am so excited about all the things I've got to do I want to bring them all out now but I can't because it's impossible um, but um, I've got so many so many ideas and you guys have been helping with ideas as well so I appreciate that thanks very much um, but yeah stick with me if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button to watch some videos on Fridays. The new video every Friday, unless something happens and I'm on holiday or something. But normally, I get something going on before that, before I go away anyway. So it sort of uploads while I'm away. Because you can do that these days with YouTube. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, that's it, I suppose. So I'll see you on Friday. Thanks very much for joining me. Hope it's not too dark in here to see. Oh, it is a bit dark, isn't it? I've got a light coming down, but maybe I need another one. Yeah, thanks very much for joining me on the show. Show? It's not a show. Um, 
thanks very much for joining me in the shop. See you, see, see you on Friday. Cheers.